How's it going, everybody? This is the Erroneous One here with a new Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video. Uh, this time we are taking on the One Shot Challenge uh, once again during a live stream. So everybody up here is commenting on the video, and you can see the comments flow up to the chat box and everything while we're doing this live. So let's go see what this is all about. So it's One Shot Challenge, deal maximum damage. Um, I haven't even looked into this one, I have no idea what's in it. Uh, that is a lot of quests. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen quests. Okay, wow. Well, oh, here we go. Uh, I need to inflict. Whoa. Two hundred. Yes. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> let's see what we can do about that, shall we? Um, we do have. Cannot we cannot change the keyblade? Okay. So I probably should have done this when there was an actual when there was an actual reward or uh, boosters on, on the starlight. Hmm. Okay. Let's go do this real fast. I identify AP. That's cool. Thank you, Colin. I'll, I will uh, refill the AP. Hey, John Tees. Thank you for coming by the stream, man. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and swap this stuff out. Um. Definitely going to be doing a reverse setup in this case since my best reverse medals, my best one one hit medals are reverse medals right now. So let's go find my Shion, pop her there. And then come over here and we're going to, no, not that one, we needed reverse power. Going to put uh, you there. Trying to think, trying to think. Let's go ahead and find upright magic. Um, no, you have a strength transform. You, though, are AB6 max. Ground. Okay, so we can pop you there, and hopefully that will help. Hey, protagonist, thanks for coming by, man. You reached uh, tier 14 in Kali. It was easy, which was weird. Yeah, it got pretty quick. Um, I think I got to tier 16 for that moon gem in like about 10 minutes. Um, see, I think I'm not sure what else is in the in the quest. Sue, 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 Sue. What's over here? Uh, that's fine. I'll put you there. I will put you there again, and I will go and grab Shion and pop her there, and we'll see how this goes real quick. It's just a quick little idea set up for this one. See how it's gonna go. Honestly, one shot this with invisible. Um, I don't have my invisible at tier eight yet, and I don't want to put him at a tier eight just yet because he has two raid traits and a aerial trait. Not the best in the world, unfortunately, for dealing damage. But my Lexius has ground and strength plus one thousand, so hopefully that will. That'll help. Um, that's fine for now. Let's go with that one. Okay, let's grab that. Oh wow. Um. Okay. Um. Alright, so I think I just got that. When do you swap Riku and Sora and some of slot of upright buffs and debuffs? Um, potentially, but that is there as space sellers at the moment. So I think that did it. Maybe that did it. It might have been might have been a little off. I don't know yet. I've looked at. I beat one of them, but it wasn't enough to do it didn't do anything. Yeah, okay, that was enough. Good. That is... Oops. Of course. I also did it with a six-star invisible party member, if I remember right. Wow. Wow, okay. So that's the same deal. 
I need to. What is that? Is that only 2 million damage? 100. 20 million. I only need to deal 20 million damage so far. Uh, yeah, we'll restore B. Go for it. Ta da! Oh, wait. Oh, it uses different keyblades. Of course, it uses different keyblades. Why would it not use different keyblades, right? Okay. <clears throat> Well, if that's the case, then that moment is pretty easy, I guess. And this, this game needs to be taken care of. Hi, cat. Welcome back over here again. How are you doing? Being cat again? Yeah, yoink. And we'll go and we will grab Shion again. Because Shion is bae. Boom. Okay. Actually, okay. Yeah, wait. He's using Shion yet. Yeah. I came across your name in PvP once, but was scared about you. It was during last of PvP as well. Ah, that's cool, Ruben. I was on top 100 for a short time. Am I getting the new Sephi? Yes, I will do my best to get the new uh, the new Sephiroth. Hi, right, Scarf. How's it going, man? He did copy it with a seven-star copy metal, if I remember right. But I do know there was a invisible. It was his other vehicle. Oh, okay, cool. Good to know. Okay, so hopefully this will work out the way I want it to. Yeah. So if it's 20 million, I definitely just got the 20 million. I'm doing over 131 million with my first uh, Lexus right there. So that's good. Uh, no, John. Sephiroth will not be a mercy, unfortunately. Daniel Popper is what I go by in Discord. Oh, that was Yuko. Okay, I was wondering who was it that joined. Chat will be back soon. <laughs> Alright, so so far, what, Magic Mirrors and HDLs as rewards again. Boom, 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 boom. So, is it same for everything? Same rewards, same restrictions. Yeah. All right. I imagine that maybe the... I don't know. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go here. We shall adjust this one. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Pop you there. Uh, over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Forgot to get the sheet on. Um, we'll put she on there because there's no reason not to at this point in time. And then we we'll go once again and grab our Lexius and pop him there in the spirit slot. And there we go. Uh, that's, that's good by Jules. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. But remember, guys, this is what I said too earlier. Um, when you're pulling from a banner like that, uh, you number one, you should be prepared to spend about, I hate saying it, about, you know, probably about $200 on banners like that. And, um, try not to spend more than, I mean, 15 really is a limit. If you do the full 200, um, yeah, two, I mean, $200 really is 10 pulls. Uh, my limit for those kind of banners is going to be about 15. Um, so keep that in mind, your kind of things. Like, you know, those kind of non-marching banners, I don't think it should be pulled for more than 15 times. Um, and then you're going to be okay overall at the end of it. Um, if you want to... If you're really, if you can invest that much into it, but for, for non mercy banners, 15 should be a cutoff. Nobody should be spending on a banner that's not mercy more than 15 times. Um, and that's gonna be for the entirety. So even if you can't pull 15 times immediately throughout the entire lifetime of the banner, the hour time it's, it's released for, be it like a week or two or whatever, 15 should be your cutoff there. Uh, it feels like ages I saw with how the events and game updates are happening lately because trying to catch up on some stuff. Not fun trying to remember stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, but honestly, at this point, I would prefer the updates for the game and things happening for the game than not happening for the game right now. Oh, okay. Um. I mean, this is this is, this is just gonna be the same setup over and over again. Um. Yep. And there we go. 
you're happy to do more unit. Yeah, that's nice too. I do hope that they keep on doing the new uh, the new unit medals and that we get more stuff in them, uh, from older times as well. It's nice to see. Uh, mine's gonna be uh, fifteen hundred two if I get them again probably well. Yeah, that's the way it is. Now we have water. Hmm. Oops, sorry other guys, otherwise I put my beer bottle right there in front of the camera. Why did anybody tell me? <clears throat> my master point on any number she pulls is 10 if I can afford to. That's a good one too, William. I definitely get that. Makes sense. It definitely makes sense. I mean, because for, for many people for the game, and 10 pulls is, is a pretty big investment on a banner. So I totally get that. So that makes sense. I get you for that one. Like I said, mine is usually 15 because I can afford to do so in the game. Um, but there have been times when I haven't pulled medals because either A, I couldn't afford to at the time. Uh, that would be, um, unfortunately, I missed out on the Illustrated Dusk medal because of that reason. Um, or I may choose not to pull, in which case the stained glass medals for this recent batch of medals. Um, because... If you have Kyrie or she on the X, you don't really need them exactly, so. Uh, do I have anything that's not? There we go. Quick, real quick. Is there anything in the spirit? There is not. Oops. Swap and pop that out. Okay, so for this one, it would be. Pop right. We'll put you there. Grab our Sheon once again, put that one there, and our Lexius. So this is kind of repetitive, sorry guys, I mean, it looks like this is going to be the same setup for everything. It's just depending on what keyblade they're forcing us to use in this case. Um, and I imagine that that is going to be the, the case for a lot of people playing this event right now, or who have already gone through with it and everything as well, is like, you find your one really solid single hit metal that deals the damage you need to deal, and then you use that same setup pretty much for the entirety of the event. You guys want to save for Aqua X? Oh, yeah. Dark Aqua would be a cool metal to save for, for sure. Alright. Uh, you wonder when they're going to put Dusk and Phantom in the six star pool, possibly now that you mentioned Dusk? Uh, hopefully soon. Like, they haven't even been included in that copy metal banner yet either, which is kind of strange. Uh, you weren't going to pull for singles medals, but I caved in and got the magic one on my first pull. That's really good, Gene. Very, very lucky there. Like, I would I would love to have those medals, honestly, because they would allow um, a bit more versatility for Keyblades since they do the upright and the um, reverse uh, buffs and debuffs. But uh, right now, for me, uh, saving for Sephiroth and Cloud is more important. Okay, so where are we at? Um, oh, okay, Divine Rose. All right. Um, bum, 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 bum. So back to the other stuff again too as well, where we are going to use our Phantom and our Sheon and there we go. Glass Sheon is good enough for you. That's good. Doing over 100 million damage per hit. Good stuff. Good stuff. Those are beasts in PvP with the two turn on the same type keyboard PvP. Yeah, they are, Dream. Uh, William. Uh, you didn't realize that they buffed both upper and reverse. So that was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, <laughs> I bet so. It's always nice people who save up for the cage rolls and end up getting the medal at the first pull, and then people at 9k don't even get nothing close. <laughs> it's, I mean, Co, honestly, the uh, the RNG swing in this game is ridiculous. So I mean, sometimes the RNG is with you. Sometimes the RNG is not with you. Uh, Moogle o glory. All right. Uh, 
Um, sure, we're going that way. Not. Pray to the RNG gods. Do you guys thought they look pretty? Uh, you know what? Sometimes a metal looking pretty is, or looking aesthetically pleasing to a player, that's enough to swing them to uh, the pool. And that's, you know, that's a good thing for them. I don't know if you guys can hear that. See, that's Cat now in the room. And now she can't leave the room when she wanted in the room. And now she's crying for attention because she wants either out of the room or attention right now. Refusal. I don't know. Rather to whatever goes for crazy. Twice to both. Both is good, William. Both is good. Got your age of traits. So I guess they have my lucky day. Yeah, definitely June. <laughs> EA on a stainless metal um, like that, that's actually really, really good. Okay, sleeping line. Uh, do I have a... I do not. Okay, so... Man, I really don't know what some of these setups are for. It's been so long since I actually, actually looked at them or used them. Okay, let's go grab once again our Shion, pop her there, and. Hmm. I should call this video Lexius, Lexius, your way to victory. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. And it's always the cool looking metals that have a reuse animation horrible ability. That seems to be the way the cookie crumbles. Does your Lex have ground? Yes, Crystal. My Lexius has ground, EA, and strength as its traits. And then when we got the, the new medals, I rolled a new copy or of him that got um, it got 1K strength and I think raids on it. So that was nice. Okay, worry about that. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, how many do we have left? We still have. Oof, we still have a good chunk left, man. Okay, this is this kind of. Alrighty then. Um, we're just gonna swap that here. Put that there. Come over here. Move that. Put that there, and go. For your Shion X Plus, I got Ground EX, um, Ground EX, and Strength. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. e man Arenas, I already have Alexius Ground Defense. What should I do with the extra copy of Alexius? Um, what other traits does your Alexius have? Because if it only has Ground, then you might want to try rolling that trait into it, or roll that metal into it to get a new trait on it. Hopefully, you get EA or Strength. What traits does my Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku have? Uh, aerial, ground, double 1k strength, and EA. And it's a boost copy. Peter Glass, she only got raids, ground, and paralysis. Raising ground are good. Hmm. 
was bad. <laughs> They're not bad. I mean, you can you seem to use them. I mean, those aren't the best traits to have on a buffer exactly, but you know, again, it's a buffy metal, so. People did that with Warrior of Light. Terror, see what happened. Huh. Uh, okay, this is a stroke of midnight now. Which again has the same overall theme. Okay. Man, this event so this event really is the copy paste event, man. It's like I'm all for added events, but man, when they get that uh I mean, I guess, well, I mean, yeah, honestly, it is kind of is like the copy-paste event. You can just pretty much put your buffer on the last slot and then put your your best metal on your pet slot, and that pretty much solves your problems overall. So everybody can pretty much just use the same setup going through it. She X Plus was happy about because of Mercy Order on the... Oh, okay. Interesting. You have ground raid and max gauge. Um, oh, cool, Liam. Thanks for coming on the stream, man. And uh, have a safe journey home. Guys, I'm sorry, guys. I have cat hair like, like right here now, and it just keeps on making me itch. What happened to the Chippendale quest they used to have? Uh, the Chippendale quest was a limited time VIP quest. Um, hopefully, eventually, they will finally put that into the main um, permanent thing, like they, uh, like they did the uh, the SIDS, but so far they have not done that. Oh, wait, I need this one actually. Yoink. Once again, yoink, and there we go. That should do it. Uh, okay. Did you miss a cat? Um, kind of, Matt. Yeah, the cat. The cat has been about already. Honestly, Emin, I would. Um, I mean, so you have. You have ground, which is great on your Alexius. You have rage, which is okay, um, and then you have max gauges, which is, max gauge isn't bad. Honestly, if this was me, I would roll that metal into your into that copy and try and get like an aerial trait, an EA trait, or a 1K strength trait. Um, I would do away with the rage trait. I would keep the gauges straight because gauges will be useful for your reverse keyblade setups. So, but that's just me. That's just what I would do. Hashtag Aaron ain't shit from Lost and Badger. Well, you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> hey, Badger. Hey, Lost Man. Thanks for coming by the stream, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, should you make a key art 13 a 7 star? It has air. Ground and EA for the traits, but multiplier is only 8.6 when you evolve. Um, if that is one of your better upright magics, then yeah, I mean, no reason not to. Okay, here we go. I'll use this one, it's fine. Um, and Hey, boo -boo. <laughs> do you think we'll get the Order 13 banner JP got a few days ago? I do not know. Maybe. You got Psyx plus a ground and aerial. That's really good, Eamon. That's very good.
Dear Boo Boo. Well, Badger, what happens if I just take that Boo Boo status from you, huh? What then? It can't be taken, Badger Boo Boo. <laughs> and that right there, guys, might be the highlight of this video <laughs> for the one-shot damage ch challenge contest. Alright, only three more of these quests left. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, yoink, yoink, and... Um, I would roll the trait on Lexius, Eamon, and if you roll EA on your Lexius, that would be the one that you're going to 7 star. And yes, June, that's not a bad idea for the uh, key art team. Did you trait nominee? Did I trait nominee plus? Yes, I did trait nominee plus. I did not get the best traits on her, but you know, I did trade her. I got. You know what? I forget. I got gauges on one, and I think poison on the other one. So I still have two copies of her, um, for like raiding or like a uh, coliseum, but that's about it. Best traits on a fixed damage metal. <laughs> what is my sub slot for fairy stars? Um, Hang on, let me see. Uh, well, I've already taken this one apart, why not? I'll do this one too as well then. Uh, sub slot is 120-120, and it's at 1.691 so far. Because I don't have anything else I can throw in there to add to it. I just need... Yeah, those are all point twelves. I need... A few more reverse magic ones that are higher up to utilize. Uh, for some other ones that are still at, zero, at uh, 0 0.08. I don't think I have any right now. I'm pretty sure I don't anyway. I think I use them already. Yeah, so that's really it. But not, not too bad. Not too shabby. Um, yoink, 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 yoink. And pop you there. And put you there. And that one there. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can do this one now. Pretty sure it's the same thing as last time. Bad. I'm doing pretty good on the, on the multipliers <laughs> for those multi um, elements of Keyblades. Even my mono ones are doing good overall for uh, Keyblade or for subplots. They're all, they're all over one, which is pretty good. And now that they're starting to put in tier 6 and 7 star um, metals into banner pools, it should go a little better uh, when we have banners to pull from again. I like that.
Now I got aerial defense and electric. There you go. So see, Eamon, that's that's really good for you. So now you have two really good metals with both air and ground on them. So um, I don't know, man. Take a pick for take a pick for what you want to. Oops, try and uh, evolve. Um, okay. And Luxius. Ooh, yes, we'll go there instead. Did I get the Captain Dark and Justice Avatar boards? I did indeed get those, yes. Because they had AB7 Max Lux Plus and um, the AB7 Max SPK Zero. So, yes, I got both of those. Hey, Coda Man, how's it going, dude? Thanks for dropping by the, by the stream, Coda Man. I appreciate it. Uh, Marshy Poo, assuming a new Keyblade is going to be released soon, what combination of attributes would you like to see in it? I want a reversed Fairy Stars. Give me a reversed Fairy Stars. That's what I want. If you guys want to as well, we do talk about that a little bit um, in the uh, podcast that I'm a part of. It's uh, hosted by Lost Predictions. It's on his channel. You guys want to take a look at our podcast and see all the <laughs> all the crazy shit we get up to in the podcast. Uh, Coda, I'm doing pretty good, Coda, man. Uh, pretty good. Um, work in school, man. It ain't been crazy. It ain't been crazy. So I had two tests the past few days, and I have two more tests. One on a Friday and then one on a Saturday. But today is my relaxing day, so I am relaxing by doing a stream. <laughs> Fun times are had by all. Hi, Dan. <laughs> hey, Tim. You apologize for not sending that podcast. Ah, that's cool, Badger. That's just, that'd be your thing. All right, guys. Well, that was the one shot challenge. Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, this is gonna boil down to obviously, if you guys take the entire video for this one, the video or the event is nothing more than finding your one medal. You find your one medal that does your Max damage in one hit for ease, just pretty easy, and you incorporate that into any keyblades that the challenge requires. And there you go, that is it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> pretty quick, pretty easy, or not pretty quick in this case, it was, it was kind of long, but you just change your setups and you're good to go. So, hopefully, everybody can get past this one for the most part. Um, I imagine as a general, general use metal, you're probably gonna find um, it's going to be. Um, Final Boss Shion, I think, would be a good medal. I think most players should have a Final Boss Shion with hopefully decent traits on it, and that could probably be your best bet for um, completing this, this event with the Restructors on it. And you can pretty much just use her in any setup there. So, that'll be it. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.